Good morning and welcome to prayer and devotion on this Friday. Today is Friday, May the 10th and starting off that was Selah uh, off of their greatest hymns, volume one, uh, His Eyes on the Sparrow. So hope you enjoyed that. Always a good one to start the day. Um, so I'm glad you're with us today. <clears throat> Praying for each one of you as we begin this day. Uh, inviting you to pray with and for one another, to lift up any prayer requests that you might have that are on your hearts that, so that you might lift each other up in prayer this day. So I'm glad you're here. Welcome. Today we're going to look, um, we were looking at Luke 21 yesterday, and we're going to move on a little bit. So Luke 21, I'll be reading verses 18 and 19. So Luke 21, 18 and 19. So uh, I invite you to get your Bibles out. And as you're doing that, my name is Cindy Stauffer. Blessed to serve as the pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. Um, and always grateful to have this time with all of you to pray with and for one another and to root ourselves at the beginning of the day in God's word. It is a good way to start the day. So glad you're with us. Let's jump into Luke 21, 18 and 19. <clears throat> Let's go to 16, actually, because I did up to 15 yesterday. So let's do 16. Uh, Luke 21, 16. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated 
by all because of my name, but not on a ha not a hair on your head will perish. By your endurance, you will gain your souls. So today's devotion comes from Henry Nouwen's uh, Bread for the Journey, and it is entitled Keeping It Together, Keeping It Together. How can we not lose our souls when everything and everybody pulls us in different directions? How can we keep it together when we are constantly being torn apart? Jesus says in today's passage, not a hair on your head will be lost. Your perseverance will win you your lives. We can only survive our world when we trust that God knows us more intimately than we know ourselves. We can only keep it together when we believe that God holds us together. We can only win our lives when we, may, when we remain faithful to the truth that every little part of us, yes, every hair is completely safe in the divine embrace of our Lord. To say it differently, when we keep living a spiritual life, we have nothing to be afraid of. Nothing to be afraid of. Um, so I started off today with his eyes on the sparrow. Um, I'm always intrigued. <laughs> the, 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 the way my brain, uh, uh, where my brain goes in the midst of the opening song. <laughs> <laughs> if only there was like a little, like something that would write down all, all of my thoughts, but I was on a train of thought thinking about um, that song and the many times that I've sung that song and what that song has meant in my own journey. Um, I have sung it at uh, funerals. I remember there was a young man who was in his early 20s uh, this was many, many years ago before I was a pastor. Uh, uh, they asked me to sing it at his funeral. He had walked through a really long bout of cancer. And um, I remember singing it uh, at that service. And I remember other services where I was asked to sing His Eyes on the Sparrow. And then I remember my mother's uh, funeral where I was, where I asked to sing it. I, I said, this is something I want to sing. And that was probably the hardest one uh, at her funeral because it had only been a couple days. And I thought, can I really sing these words that I sing because I'm happy? I sing because I'm free. And I knew that, yes, in fact, more than ever in those moments, uh, I could sing those words because I knew in those moments, uh, probably more intimately than in any other moments, I knew in those moments that I was being held. And so I wonder in our, in our own journeys, um, you know, how often we pay attention to the fact that God is holding us, that God sees us just as God sees the sparrow, that God knows us far more, far more than we know ourselves. Uh, so the other thing that I realized as I was listening to that song was there was a moment where that realization came upon me as well. And I just kind of what took a breath. I don't know, if I go back to the video, we'll see what it looks like. But I just took a breath and I kind of sat back and went, oh, yeah, yeah, that is, that is what I need. I need to be reminded that I'm being held through it all. There's nothing I can face today there's nothing I faced yesterday. There's nothing I will face tomorrow that I face alone. Because I have a God that knows me, the God that loves me, the God that sees me, and the God that holds me through it all. 
And that is my prayer for you. Friends, it is easy to let the world uh, pull us apart, tear us apart. It is easy to get caught up in the doing, in the, in the striving. I know it, I know it. It is easy to let those things happen. But ultimately we have to come back to the knowledge that that's all stuff. It's not important. What's most important is knowing the one who holds us and loves us. And so that is my prayer for you today, that you will have moments where you can just take a breath, sit back and know that you are held and loved. And that's all that's really important. So as we move into prayer, what are, what are you lifting up? Um, lift up? Lift up the prayers for one another, pray for each other, and know that God hears your prayers. God knows your heart, and God uh, is with you in the midst of it all. So as we move into this time of prayer, uh, whatever prayers are in your heart, I invite you to put in the chat so that you can pray for and with one another. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for holding us, holding us together, keeping it all together. Even when it feels as if there are storms all around us, you are the one that holds us through it all. Forgive us, Lord, when we forget, when we get um, thrown about by the waves of life, when we, like Peter, are sinking because our eyes are not on you, but on everything else. Forgive us, Lord, when we fail to see that you are with us through it all. You see us. You know our hearts. And you love us. And that is good news. And so, Lord, I lift up each person today, each experience they are walking through. Lord, I pray that they will come to know that your, your deep um, love for them your embrace that holds them, your voice that guides them. I pray that each person will hear and know this today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for holding us together, for seeing us, for loving us. We ask all of this in your name, Lord Jesus, as together we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we Forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. holding each one of you in prayer today, praying that you, uh, that you will feel God's embrace surrounding you, um, holding you together for the day ahead. God loves you, my friends, and so do I. Have a very blessed day, and I will see you back here tomorrow.